The Bill Cosby Radio Program. Rush out and buy some today. Brought to you by your Coca-Cola bottler. In a minute, the further adventures of the Brown Hornet. After Jay and the Techniques for Coca-Cola. of the exciting, spine-tingling adventures of the Brown Hornet and Leroy in the Katie Hornet house on the deserted road where their car broke down in the rain murder clue. You'll remember that last week we left our heroes, the Brown Hornet, Leroy, and Weaver, in the parking lot, getting into their very fast car in preparation for speeding to the scene of the crime. Let's listen. Uh, now, let me read the directions here. Make a left turn here to the Main Street Freeway, Leroy. Yeah. Now we're on the freeway. Up oh, there it is, the Cherry Street Expressway. Make a turn off, Leroy. Yeah. Now, we're at Ogden Street now. Make a right. There we are. Now we're approaching the circle. You better slow it down to 70, Leroy. Now we make the circle. Hold on, Weaver. Hold on, Weaver. How many circles is that, Leroy? I don't remember where we started the circle. I think it was somewhere around here. But I think this is still our first time around because it's a very big circle. All right. Straighten out, Leroy. All right. Now, let's see. There's, there it is. We go to Linden. We're in three miles of forest now. now. There we are. This is the forest. You can certainly hear it. You certainly can, Brown Hornet. What next, fans? Be sure to be with us again tomorrow for another exciting, spine-tingling chapter of the Brown Hornet and Leroy in the case of the old haunted house on the deserted road where their car broke down in the rain murder clue. Your announcer, Rudolph Hess. I'll be back in a minute. But first, the box tops for Coca-Cola. See the pretty girls in the little town square. See the pretty dresses they wear. You know that I dig them. Cosby with my thought for today. What is love? Love to a stopped up sink is a plumber's footsteps. I'll see you tomorrow. Come on, Camille. The Bill Cosby radio program is brought to you Monday through Friday by your Coca-Cola bottler. Hey, what is this? The Bill Cosby radio program. I hope so. Brought to you by your Coca-Cola bottler. Tonight, the further adventures of the Brown Hornet. But first, the American breed for Coke. Walking through the park with you. Watching zebras at the zoo. Having fun just holding hands. Sipping Coke at popcorn stand. Things go better with Coca-Cola As long as we're together Things go better with Coca-Cola 
And now, Chapter 7 of the exciting, spine-tingling adventures of the Brown Hornet and Leroy in the case of the old haunted house on the deserted road where their car broke down in the rain murder clue. You'll remember that yesterday the Brown Hornet and Leroy were speeding to the rescue in their very fast car. Let's listen. Uh, there we are. This is a fart. You can certainly hear it. Yes. Hmm. That's some weird fars. Don't worry about it, Leroy. It's a lovely fart. All right, we're coming to the end of it. But it says here, end of the little forest. Now we're coming to the circle, and we have to take it five times. Hit the circle, Leroy. Cut it down to 70. Hold on, Weaver. How many times is that, Leroy? That's two times. Three. That's five times. Come out of it, Leroy. Come out alive. Come out, all right. Now we're in the very large forest. Stop the car, Leroy. I think, uh, go forward a little bit. Stop it. Ah. I think we're lost, Leroy. This is the uh, end of the very big forest. Two blocks, you'll see a house with one window with a guy with his legs hanging out the window. I see, we were supposed to, we were supposed to make a right turn out there at the forest, but you feel a little Little wind coming on, Leroy? Yeah. I don't know, it's getting darker. Yes. And so, as the weather turns foul, so does the plot. What will happen next? Be sure to be with us again tomorrow for another exciting, spine-tingling chapter of the Brown Hornet and Leroy in the case of the old haunted house on the deserted road where their car broke down in the rain murder clue. Your announcer, Jay Fotherington Waterbury. I'll be back in a minute with my definition of love. After Lulu sings about Coca-Cola. I should run away from you. I shouldn't let you bother me Exams will soon be coming up And nothing's getting through to me Cosby with my thought for today. What is love? Love to a flagpole is never having to fly half-mast. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, boy. Oh, well. The Bill Cosby radio program is brought to you Monday through Friday by your Coca-Cola bottler. Sixty-four degrees of the city at 7.30. This is San Francisco, KYA, Avco Broadcasting of California. Larry Brownell, KYA News.
Two white Oakland policemen have been dismissed and then jailed in connection with the firing of a dozen shots into the unoccupied headquarters of the Black Panthers. Police Chief Charles Gaines said officers Richard Williams and Robert Farrell had been drinking. The shots were fired from a police car early this morning. This afternoon, a KYA reporter interviewed Black Panther Huey Newton in his jail cell about the shooting incident. He claimed it wasn't the first time the police had shot up his headquarters. We also asked Newton about the fact that David Harper, the only Negro member of the jury which convicted him of shooting an Oakland policeman to death last October, apparently thought he was guilty along with the white jurors. And to give him uh, respect uh, and uh, realize that he's not, a, not, he's not a bootlick or an Uncle Tom, he's a black man, uh, opera, and uh, he, 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 he thought that he was doing what was in my best interest. So it's a mistake that he made, and I'm ask, asking the community to... Uh, uh, forgive all of those who believe that I was innocent on the jury because uh, they didn't actually know what they were doing. Next on KY News, the story of monkeys and marijuana.